at the Mobile Hunters Expo 2024 Northern Show in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We are here with Brandon with B7 Outdoors. Great to have you, man. So, man, you've got a product that is just driving me crazy, and um, you know I'm not going to try to explain any of it. I, I would like for you to do that, but. Um, can you please tell us a little bit about the stick you've got going on here? So this is the pocket climbing stick. This is transport mode. You can see, so the bottle pouch right here, there's one in there. Then it expands to a 17 inch stick, step to step. So how much did this weigh? Two pounds. Two pounds. And so you just kind of grab it like this and pull it open? Yep. Man, that's smooth. Oh. And with this design, we designed it. It's a single step, which some guys may not like. We're working on accommodating the guys for the double step, so we're working on it, fellas. But for now, we did a single step stick, and we designed it so that it works against collapsing when you use it. So this step only goes one way, and then it doesn't collapse the stick. It works in opposition to collapsing. So there's no worries about it collapsing on a guy when he's climbing. So just try to keep it simple and safe. And then it just attaches with the regular Versa button for this model, the base model. And then we have another model that we'll show you in a minute. So just push, pull, bring it together, stick it in your pocket. Man, that is insane. So now say a guy wants to hunt with multiple sticks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he can attach, you know, three or four or even five of those to his back. Yep. and still be smaller than you know a pack of four sticks oh yeah there's there's no catching on anything because they're less compact and we're working on a holster system for them too so you'll be able to mount them anywhere you have molly loops on your pack on your saddle you'll be able to just like a gun holster just throw them in there like that and they're right there for the ready so uh, my first question, I guess, would be a lot of times, even if somebody is using multiple sticks, a lot of times they'll use aiders. Uh, yep. So what kind of aider would you recommend? Um, yeah, we can move over here and I'll show you the one that we've developed for it. And so this is a double step, which will correspond your feet to the steps. And then when you're coming back down, you put this foot here and then this one will go in here and it will automatically find the first step when you're coming back down and descending. So uh, back to the attachment method, uh, like right here you've got daisy chain, right? Yep, this is an Amstel daisy chain for this one. Yeah. But So just like any other stick, you could use daisy chain, you can use like the H-Fast system yep. or yep. Uh, you know the Amstel guys attachment method. So this is just as capable as any other stick. Absolutely. With the benefit I would say of more collapsing capable. down to almost <laughs> nothing. It gives you the compactness without compromise for step distance. And that was for me, that was my goal. Because I, I dealt with a big bulk package of sticks in the past and it just got to be too much. I'm like, how can I streamline this so that I can have the best of both? Like, I don't want to sacrifice one action, you double it, you get two steps. So I just whittled it down and came up with this for my own personal wants. I notice the difference here, you have a Versa button, but you have a different type of... Yeah, uh, we can show you that. This will be the next model. Uh, so this would be probably a base model we're offering. And then this is the next one. And we came up with a locking setup for it. And I can show that to you right now. As simple as that. On, around. And you're locked on. And then also, an added benefit to it, flaps the stick, it's also the rope containment. Nice. Just like that. Put it in your holster, put it in your pocket, get on out of the woods. And then when you go to deploy it, all you do, there's no unwinding. You're ready to go. So another thing I want to mention about this, uh, you know, I know you said that the steps work against the folding action. Yep. But you know, for somebody who just can't get that out of the back of their mind, uh, with this method right here, that actually binds that stick yep. together. Yep. It locks the two buttons together, and there is no way that that can separate. Gives you that extra peace of mind. Yes, sir. So, what kind of coating do you have on here? These are black anodized, right now, um, and then the material is 6061 aluminum. Man, this is insane. So you have like nylon washers and stuff in there? Um, in here, it's just coated. And then here we have a couple nylon washers. Man, I'm blown away by this. Yeah. 
So I know you talked a little bit about this aider Fixed design aider. you have here. Yep. Uh, but what, how would this work with say like a movable aider? Yeah, I personally, I have a three-step movable aider and with this larger button on here, I just hook it on there, I'll set the stick high, I'll hook it on right over that button, like normally you would for a movable. Um, some guys will do a, a hook system to the step. Personally, I just use one that goes over the button here. And uh, then of course, guys that are familiar with that, it's tethered to you, so then it will pop off as you go up. Pretty efficient process. So what kind of price range are we looking at for a single stick? The, the base model, this one here, will be uh, around 120. You know, everything's going up right now. Trying to keep it decent for guys. The next model is going to be the 150 range. Well, cool, man. So these are available on your website right now? Yep. Okay. Available on our website. Limited quantity right now. So I think we're at maybe 30 for this model that's coming. And then uh, we're working on getting more started soon. Well, I know you got a lot of stuff in the works, and I don't want to tell the world your secrets just yet. Sure. So. Yep, definitely trying to keep the ball rolling. Yeah. Try to help guys out, get them to be more efficient. So uh, you want to show us what it looks like on your pack and kind of, you know, when you're approaching the tree, what it looks like to get set up? Yeah, you can do that. So uh, can you turn around and kind of show the people what it looks like? So you've got three yep. sticks here yep. and Two a platform on here. your pack here. And, you know, anybody just looking at it from a distance, it kind of just looks like you have a platform there. Kind of crazy to think that you have three full climbing sticks. Yep. Yeah, for me, this was a pack I ran last year, and this is exactly what I was going for for years. That's why I developed these sticks. When I get to the spot, I find the hunt, pick the right tree. I didn't want to take my pack off, stage anything, hook anything on my side. I just want to start climbing. So with this pack set up with the sticks in there, I'm able to be like, all right, here's a tree. Ready to climb. So 15 seconds and you're or less and you're ready to climb. Yes, sir. Yep. Well, Brandon, we appreciate you getting with us, man. Yeah, appreciate um, you stopping by. You got an awesome product here, man. I think it's going to do really well. Uh, so your website is b7outdoors.com. Yes, sir. Facebook, Instagram, all yes, that good sir. stuff. Yep. Got any videos on YouTube? Uh, one video is out there. Um, bow hunting pressured whitetail. Okay. From Jake. Yep. Right. He did a really good review on it. So that's the first one right now that's on YouTube. Uh, we've got a couple on Facebook right now, and we're working on that. So hopefully we'll bring better content in the future. Well, maybe we'll have a review on uh, Rob's Man Cave sometime hey, soon. Hey, that'd be awesome, man. <laughs> well, thanks again, man. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Take care. B7 Outdoors. Go check them out.